everybody, welcome back to Living Life Daily with Jay. I got something special for y'all today. I got some more of the sea bass here. Now, if you look back at my last video, when I caught all these sea bass, I caught a lot of them, so I decided to do another dish for y'all, a part two, actually. And it will be a lovely, tasty grilled sea bass that we're gonna be doing for you today. And I'm gonna start by, what I wanna do, I'm gonna start by trimming this fish right here. I'm gonna trim them. Just take the knife and um, just trim some of that off. So I'm gonna be putting it in the pan so I'm gonna make it look nice for y'all. Take that off. Go over here. Trim that off. Yeah, so I get all this off. I had an awesome time out there fishing. And I can see I caught seven of these. So I just had to do a part two on this right here. So same thing with this one. Cut these off, trim that tail. your season on there, all your season will stick too, they won't fall off. So, just pat them around just like that. Both sides. Yeah. Okay. And you want to take your knife and you just want to score them just like this on both sides. So, when you score them like that, all your season will get in there, get in the meat. Just like that on both sides. Okay, we'll do both of them just like that. All oh, that great flavor will get out in there. Just like that. Alright, so we got them scored on both sides. And what I'm gonna be doing, I have some right here. I have some parsley, garlic, ginger, red onion, and some scallions right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend all this up and in my little mixer here. So okay. And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm just gonna cut them right here. I'm gonna take these, just gonna add them right in here. Red onion, ginger, and four garlic cloves, and my parsley. All going in there. And I'm gonna add about a half a cup of water. results of blending all the ingredients together and what I want to do now is um I got some seasoning here I got pepper salt seasoned salt and paprika that I'm adding to this and um let's go man all that in just like that and just like I say that gonna be my rub for my for my fish And I want to add a little avocado oil right there. Just a little bit. About that much. Okay. So. Yes. Y'all can see that right there. Just like that. Alright. So I'm going to set this to the side for right now. Because I want to do my potatoes. All right, y'all, when I was talking about the potatoes, only thing I'm gonna do with these potatoes here, I'm just gonna cut them in half. 
I'm gonna mix all my seasoning up together and get the potatoes ready. So just like that, potatoes are ready. And what I wanna do is I have some butter here and I'm gonna mix in my dry ingredients right here. So I'm gonna be adding some pepper, paprika, salt, and thyme. So I'm just gonna mix it up just like this. Just gonna drizzle that all over my potatoes. Look at that. Let me see where this is going. And these will be good right here, I'm telling you. Alright. Just like that and just come in. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty now. Get in there, get it a good mix. Scared to get dirty now. Check that out. Alright. Okay. Right here I have the potatoes. And these potatoes are going in the oven for 45 minutes at 350. And what else I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm gonna be doing some roasted veggies right here. So I'm gonna be cutting these up right here. Clean all that out. Just cutting these up right here. And guys, when um, I was telling you about one of my projects I was doing, and I didn't want to spill it earlier, but one of my projects that I was doing, I ran across a boat trailer. I mean, for my little therapy boat, because I had it on my little utility trailer, which was aggravating. So I ran across this little boat trailer on Marketplace. It was in bad shape. I played little or nothing for it. It needed a lot of work. I'll show you, um, some of the clips of how I took from where it was to what it is now, right up there. I'll be showing you some clips of that. But um, I like the way it turned out, turned out awesome. And I'll be showing you how I come, how it came along to what it looked like. Like I said, that's one of my projects. I got a lot of stuff going on this year, guys. I just, you know, if you're not um, subscribe to this family yet please hit that like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on anything this year we got a lot going on giveaways coming up you know like I say if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know leave a like comments you know on anything you want me to do this year just let me know you know this you want me to do something try something you know just feel free you know leave me a comment you know positive comments but all right, this is coming along perfect. Like I got these veggies going in. I'm just gonna sear them with some salt and pepper. And um, by that time, my potatoes will be getting ready, halfway done anyway. And then I'll prep my own sea bass and get it in the oven as well. So my potatoes is already almost done. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna start my sea bass and then I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna saute my vegetables. So first I wanna start off by right here. Y'all you know, come on in, you know, a little bit. And uh, right here, I'm just gonna, just like this, get it all around up in there. Get it up in there. Get it up in that meat. Just like that, guys, this is gonna be good. Mm-hmm, you already see where that's going. Get some up in that head. I might want to chew on that in a little while later, so never know. All right, same thing on the other side. Give them a flip. And yeah, just like that. And what you want to do is get it all up in the way you scored it at. See, all up in there. See, once you get in there, those flavors going to get in there. Season that meat well, so same thing there. And we're gonna save a try to save a little of this season so when the, as this fish get halfway done, we can come back and just put a little bit on it. So, because most of it's gonna like slide off when you're cooking it. So, so just put some in there, get all up in there, all up in that meat, just like that. Flip them over, 
same thing. Well, it might not have none, but so we must have go with what we got. But make sure you get them all up in there. Make sure you get all up in there with little cracks in there. So all that will come together. All right. We're going to broil it for 10 minutes each side. So. Potatoes are ready. Take that out right there. Mm -hmm. Take that out. We're going to set these over here. And then the sea bass is going in. Like I say, 10 minutes on each side. So 10, we're going to flip 10 more. All right, we're going to check on the sea bass. It's been about 10 minutes. Check it out so far. What we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over and let it go for a little while on the other side. So. Like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And. All right. We gave that a flip. That will give us time to start on our veggies right here. Only thing I'm gonna do to them, I'm just gonna add a little, like I was saying, a little avocado oil on here. Just like that. And so when you go your seasoning right here, that's all I'm gonna add. Just like that. My veggies are coming together nicely. Ooh, ooh. Take that out. Got the veggies done, potatoes here, and we're going to check our bass. Oh, yeah. Our sea bass is ready. Set that to the side just like that, guys. Check that out right there. All right, guys, we going in right here. Check it out. Pick that sea bass out with the grilled veggies and the savory potatoes, guys, right here. Couldn't ask for a better way to put this together, but I'm gonna go in, get y'all a taste test and tell y'all what I think. But the way it looking, I know it's gonna be good, so hey, let's get right in with it. Oh, check! Oh, oh, left. Check that out. Right there. Check that out. And scoring it that way, guys. I'm telling you, they got all them seasoning down in the meat. That is some. That's good. That is good. Right there, guys. That is good. That is, I'm going with that potato right there. Mmm. Mmm. You don't want to try this. This is a game changer right here. That is a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna eat all in front of y'all like this, that'd be rude. But, guys, I wanna thank y'all. Like I say, look, on the last video, I wanna thank y'all, but I'm gonna thank y'all again in this one for everything y'all have done. Y'all riding with me to this, this channel. Y'all watching, leaving positive comments, you know, liking, just, and subscribing. Like I said, if there's anything else you want to see me do, y'all just, just put it down below, let me know. And, um, that's all I can say about this one right here. I hope y'all like what I'm doing. I like hope y'all like the projects that I'm coming up with and all the, the bill and stuff like that. And um, like I say, this is all I got for you guys right now. But like always, I'll see you in the next one.